Hey second graders, it's Miss Malia and I am home just like you. I'm also spending this time um, in my home instead of being at school. But that doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about each and every one of you. And um, I'm gonna just keep having garden class every Thursday with you and um, I'll just do it from my home. And so today's topic is going to be pollinators and other good and helpful bugs in the garden. And um, at the end of the lesson today, we will plant some flowers that will bring good and beneficial bugs in like pollinators like bees and butterflies into the garden. So I brought a book today called Waiting for Wings. And this book is about butterflies. Butterflies are one of those wonderful pollinators, which means they bring pollen from one flower to another flower in nature or in the garden. So when the butterfly comes over and starts to drink nectar from the flower, it often will get pollen on its, um, it's kind of got like furry little legs and arms, and it will get pollen on its arms and legs. And then when it moves to drink nectar from another flower, it spreads that pollen around. And that is really important for the flowers because if they don't get pollinated, then um, they won't be able to produce seed and um, make more flowers. Waiting for Wings by Louise Elhert. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view. Clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. Soon caterpillars hatch, they creep and chew. Each one knows what it must do. Find a place where wind do doesn't blow. Then make a case in which to grow. Caterpillar changes now begin. Body and wings take shape within. When it's time, each case is torn. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. They pump their wings, get ready to fly. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky, looking for flowers with nectar to eat. They catch a whiff of something sweet. They follow that fragrant scent of perfume until they find our garden in bloom. We've been waiting for wings. We watch them circle, land on their feet. Unroll their tongues and begin to eat. They dip and sip. Then fly away back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. On this page, there are lots of different butterflies. And if you look closely, you can see there's also the caterpillar that they came from. So you can see a caterpillar, a 
chrysalis, which is in between, and then when it finally comes out of the chrysalis, it's the butterfly. So can you find the buckeye on here, the buckeye butterfly? How about the buckeye chrysalis or the buckeye caterpillar? There's the buckeye, buckeye chrysalis and buckeye caterpillar. How about the tiger swallowtail? Can you find the tiger swallowtail? Here's the tiger swallowtail, tiger swallowtail, caterpillar, and chrysalis. How about the painted lady? Can you find the painted lady on here? There's the painted lady, the painted lady, caterpillar, and chrysalis. Wow. All right, how about what flowers do they like to go to? Where are some of the flowers? We've got hollyhocks, purple coneflower or echinacea, zinnia, cosmos, black-eyed susan, marigolds, Wow. So these are all flowers that attract butterflies and other pollinators. They have really, really sweet nectar for them. So butterflies love to come to these flowers and eat. Okay. That is the end of this book. <laughs> but I was just wondering if you were a butterfly, what would you look like? What would your wings look like? You saw how many different kinds of wings butterflies can have. There are hundreds of different types of butterflies in the world. What would you look like if you were a butterfly? So I want you to go get a piece of paper and something to color with and um, draw what would you look like if you were a butterfly? What would your wings look like? And then I would love it if you took a picture of it and um, asked an adult to help you send it to me, or you could just send it back to um, your teacher. And that would make me really happy to see um, your interpretation of you as a butterfly. Okay, so you can go and draw yourself as a butterfly now.